deep within the ancient forest, where trees stood tall and mighty, and the animals had migrated to other lands. There existed a peculiar creature, a hybrid between a human and a snake. She was the snake goddess Medea. Her beauty enchanted anyone who gazed upon her, leaving them utterly mesmerized. To maintain her allure, Medea had to draw the souls of young men who fell into her trap. I will willingly offer my heart to you. At that moment, Medea would drain their souls entirely, making her look ever youthful and beautiful. Until one day, as Medea was seeking her prey, Huh? Medea noticed the young man being attacked by a venomous snake. This will surely be a tasty morsel. As she approached, the snake immediately slithered away. Huh? Thank you for saving me. I'm Liam. Huh? You are quite huh? handsome. Where are you headed? Huh? Huh? Liam explained that he was exploring with his half-brother Ricky, who got separated suddenly. Huh? Huh? On Ricky's side, he had left Liam, exited the forest, and happily returned to the castle. Huh? It's getting late. You should come to my place. Tomorrow morning, I'll guide you out of here. Liam had no other choice but to follow her. Hmm. Upon reaching her cave, huh? <laughs> Medea quickly dismissed her attendants. Welcome in! Your dinner awaits! I'm already full! I have something to confess! I like you! Do you want to give your heart to me? No! Never before had anyone resisted Medea's seduction. Liam silently left and peacefully slept in a corner, ignoring Medea's anger. The next morning, when Medea woke up, she didn't find Liam anywhere. Just a thank you note <gasps> stating that he would find his own way out. <laughs> <laughs> Medea rushed outside and found Liam's footprints. She immediately followed them. She kept walking and walking until it was dark and she saw a vast castle huh? ahead. Huh. Here you are! You can't escape now, Liam! Huh? As Medea sneaked into the castle's gate, huh? she was discovered by two guards. She quickly huh? subdued them. Huh? <laughs> While crawling through the corridors, Medea was spotted by Ricky. Huh? Who's there? Stop! Hmm. Hmm? Medea huh? ran and reached a huh? dead end, transforming back into a human. Ricky angrily drew his sword huh? to attack Medea. Uh, Stop! Huh? She's a friend, huh? not a thief. Huh? Let's go. Huh? First I saved you, now you <laughs> saved me. A fair deal. <laughs> huh? Why are you here? The forest I lived in was threatened by evildoers, so I had to find a hiding place. And coincidentally, I found myself here. Little did I know it was your castle! Moved by Medea's circumstances, huh? Liam agreed to let her stay and led her to an extremely tidy huh? and neat room with beautiful huh? clothes. Does nobody use this room? This room belonged to a girl who is important to me, but she's no longer with us. Huh? Liam's mystery intrigued Medea <laughs> even more, fueling her determination to steal his heart.
every day, Medea followed Liam, attempting to seduce him, but Liam remained unaffected. <laughs> One day, Medea followed Liam to a tomb, and her curiosity got the best of her. She saw Liam laying flowers on the grave and crying. It turned out that grave belongs to Liam's late wife, the one who had passed away. And the room Medea was staying in used to be where they read and played <laughs> together. Medea suddenly felt her actions had lost their meaning. Is Liam's cold demeanor due to this reason? I will play the melody you like. As the flute played, Medea lost control of her body. It didn't obey her own commands, her human form twisting. Medea was terrified, for if this continued, she would fully transform into a snake. I'm sorry! From a distance, Ricky witnessed it all, laughed, and left. The next day, Ricky handed Medea an invitation to a music party that night, hoping she would attend. If I go, I'm gonna reveal my true form. I'm busy. Huh? This might be the last time you see Liam. Why is that? Come and find out. That night, Medea decided to go to the party, wearing the clothes of Liam's deceased huh? wife, looking magnificent. Huh? <laughs> As she entered the party, Liam was preparing to perform his act. The sound of the flute and the accompanying music captivated <laughs> Medea, and she couldn't help but start dancing. Huh? Medea became afraid and huh? tried to find an escape. Huh? Close the doors! Yes. <laughs> Medea couldn't bear it any longer and transformed into a snake. <laughs> huh? Destroy the monster! Huh? Mm. Mm. Everything you said was a lie, right? Liam, please listen to me. At first, I didn't plan to take your soul, but after being by your side and getting to know you, your love for your late wife, I gave up that intention. <laughs> Stop your nonsense! <gasps> Medea had no choice but to fight back. Liam stood there, witnessing the chaos, remembering the time he spent with Medea. And suddenly, he came to his senses. Stop! Huh? Liam, you're siding with her? <laughs> From now on, the throne will be mine! <laughs> Seeing Ricky's actions infuriated Medea, Medea even more. She went madly towards Ricky. Please wake up! Uh. Medea, I'm sorry for being cold to you, because I love you. You brought a sense of familiarity and happiness that I had lost for so long. But because I didn't want to suffer when loving huh? someone else, I had to act that way. <laughs> Medea poured her entire soul into Liam's mouth, and his body started to glow, his wounds healed. Liam was saved, but it also meant that Medea would no longer stay eternally beautiful. I love you not for your appearance. Medea burst into tears of joy. From then on, the snake goddess Medea and Prince Liam ruled the kingdom together and lived happily ever after. The story ends here. Please click the subscribe button on Wowa Fairy Tale to discover more exciting and heartwarming stories. <laughs> Wonderland was inhabited by the most magical creatures in ancient legends. It had a long green forest and a clear four season waterfall. Among those magical creatures, there was a mermaid possessing a wonderfully beautiful iridescent tail living in the river. Every day, when dawn had just come, the mermaid came very early and waited on the cliff on the river. She waited for the man of her dreams, Unicorn. Unicorn was the strongest species in the region, with its silvery silver horns and distinctive white wings. Every time he reflected on the river under a large waterfall, Unicorn turned into a handsome prince, 
making the hearts of the fairies around go crazy. <laughs> Unicorn is here! Oh, I'm willing to drown in your beauty! Ah, no way! He must be mine! <laughs> Hello, Unicorn Day 147. Today you are all so beautiful. Who's that? <gasps> He's probably already gone. Mermaid turned her feelings and emotions into songs to confess herself. Mm. Huh? Huh? When Unicorn huh? heard it, he was moved and fascinated by the sweet voice. Huh? Unicorn hmm. wanted to make friends with the mermaid even further. Since then, every day the unicorn and the mermaid met and told each other interesting huh? stories that they knew. <laughs> the stronger feelings they had, the more they wanted to be close to each other, despite the difference in race, one on the shore, the other in the water. Hmm? Hmm. Mermaid wanted to fly far with Unicorn, beyond even the tallest trees in the forest, to see directly what she was only known through stories. She defied the advice of the village elders, and went to meet the jungle beast who lived by the river. The jungle beast was described as extremely cruel and cunning, but she held most of the spells that the fairy world was forbidden to use, including body transformation charms. Oh, look, who dares to disturb my thousand-year slumber? Mrs. Jungle Beast, I know I should not bother you, but there is one thing that perhaps only you can help me with. Stupid girl, you seem to have confused me with annoying fairies. Go away before I turn you into a grilled fish. Please have mercy on my love with a unicorn. <gasps> I'm just kidding. All right, so what's the matter with you and the unicorn? I'm willing to listen. The mermaid begged the jungle beast to turn her iridescent tail into legs, so she could walk on land. Oh yes, but there has to be something exchanged for the magic to happen. How about all of the unicorn's memories of you? Mermaid worried, hesitant to agree. Don't you believe in your love? If the love is big enough, you will definitely make the unicorn remember easily. You are beautiful, and you sing well. What's difficult for him to fall in love with you again? And if the two of you are separated like you are now, no matter how much you love, one day the unicorn will find it difficult and he will fall in love with someone else. The mermaid was so scared, she immediately agreed. After having human-like legs, the mermaid happily left the river and went ashore to find the unicorn. She nervously imagined what kind of expression the unicorn would have when he saw her how happy they would be together. <laughs> Just that, the more she hoped, the more disappointed she became. Because the unicorn couldn't remember anything, he happily chatted with another girl on the side of the road. The mermaid ran to explain that she was the lover of the unicorn. She told about their memories, but the unicorn didn't believe it at all. Only then did the mermaid realize the terrible effect of the swap curse. She desperately wanted to explain more when the girl next to the unicorn interrupted. Hey girl, where did you come from? Don't you hear that he said he didn't know you? I am your girlfriend. Huh? Every fairy in this forest knows it all. Huh? Unicorn, you must believe me. You forget me just because of the curse. Release him. Huh? You hurt him. Is it because huh? of you? Because you enchanted him with amnestics? There's no way he could be so cold to me. That's enough. I don't know who you are, but you're saying such weird, absurd things. You've been rude to my friend, so please get out of here, quickly. <laughs> How can this be? Just yesterday you promised to be with me forever. The mermaid sadly realized that feelings must be built on memories. Losing memories, love also disappeared. <laughs> She regretfully returned to the riverbank to meet the jungle beast, begging her to return everything to the way it was. In response to her plea was the jungle beast's cold words. Things exchanged with magic cannot be returned! I know, you will have a way. The most powerful woman in the land, there is nothing you can't do. Please help me. I don't need my legs anymore. I just want Unicorn to remember me. All right, seeing you pitiful, 
I will break the rules. The required item for the magic to work is the silver unicorn horns. Unicorn horns? Without it, how can he survive? No, I can't. Oh my, what's so serious? It's just decoration. The unicorn wouldn't even recognize that he lost his horns, trust me. Convinced by the beast, the mermaid agreed. The jungle beast gave the mermaid a bag of talismans. She just needed to open the bag and the unicorn would sleep soundly. With the same magic talisman, if it was put on the horns of the unicorn, the horns would fall off on their own without feeling any pain or anything. After completing the task, the mermaid brought the horns to the jungle beast to make the exchange as promised. On the way back, she encountered the scene of the jungle beast and the henchmen who captured the forest fairies. Haha! <laughs> <laughs> I finally waited until today, the day of annexing this wonderland! In your dream, the unicorn prince will definitely save us! The one dreaming is you! Whether your handsome prince can wake up or not, go and ask his little lover! Aha, that reminds me! I have to thank her so much! I've been waiting for this day for so long! If there is the power of the unicorn, I cannot cast magic spells! That brat dared to lock me in a sea! Now watch this! He lost consciousness! Who can stop me? Uh -huh. Mermaid was extremely afraid and regretful. She accidentally caused a great disaster to the person she loved, as well as everyone. Instead of falling, the mermaid realized it was her responsibility to save them all. She hurriedly brought the unicorn horns back, restoring everything before it was too late. However, things were not as easy as mermaid thought. No matter how many times she tried to put the horns on, they couldn't return to their original state. While being helpless, the mermaid remembered reading about the effects of mermaid tears. Everything in the world, no matter how they were broken, they can be healed by mermaid tears? <laughs> it's just that after shedding tears, the mermaid won't be able to see anything anymore. Oh, there's no way I would make such a trade-off. I used to think that nothing in the world could make me cry, even if you don't realize me or drive me away. I was wrong. As long as you wake up, I'm ready to trade everything. Suffering surged. Mermaid sobbed and tears poured down. When touching the horns placed on the unicorn's forehead, these tears became like glue, causing the horns to stick. The unicorn slowly opened his eyes and woke up. What happened? You are... You... you're awake! The seal! It's broken! Realizing that the seal was broken, he immediately flew off to find the jungle beast. The magic of Unicorn was weaker after he woke up. The jungle beast used all her strength to create dark clouds, causing the sky to turn black, sending down huge lightning bolts. The unicorn held a silver sword in his hand, emitting a dazzling light. He flew up, dodged the thunder, and cut through the dark night. In the end, dark clouds and thunder disappeared. Warm light returned. Ah! Ah, my eyes are blinded! When the jungle beast was not able to see anything, the unicorn galloped to destroy her. Screams echoed everywhere. The mermaid knew that the unicorn has successfully defended the land. She smiled sadly and made her way back to the river. Mermaid didn't know how she would be. The jungle beast had been defeated, but neither the fishtail nor the unicorn's memory of love had returned. The mermaid sat on the familiar rock where she first met the unicorn, recalling old memories. She was heartbroken, regretful, but still happy, because at least the person she loved was finally at peace. The mermaid passionately talking about her love memories. Tail turns into legs, old memories imprinted. If love isn't impressed, the mind it never gained. Unexpectedly, at that moment, the unicorn passed by. The voice held his steps. Huh? Ah! 
Ah, my head! Ah. The familiar melody made the fragmented, overlapping <laughs> memories slowly appear. He had completely remembered all huh? the memories with this dear girl. It's you! I already remembered! The unicorn happily huh? hugged the mermaid. Hmm. Do you remember who I really am? Is that true? You won't leave me anymore, will you? I'm so scared! It's me! I promise I'll never leave you again! Mm. Mermaid and Unicorn were together, traveling everywhere. It's just a pity that your eyes will forever be unable to see anything anymore. Consider it as payment for the wrong I have done. Don't worry, I will become your eyes, go around the world with you. Yes, we will be together forever. Once upon a time, there was a prince who overcame the king's challenge by climbing up a high tower and successfully saved the princess trapped at the top of the tower. She is called the Doomed Princess. But why did she get this name? Please join us to discover the whole story. Huh? Huh? <laughs> princess, what made you lock yourself up at the top of this tower? Prince, thank you for saving me. First, let me tell you about the reason why I am locked up in this place. My father is the king of this kingdom, but... But they tried to find the reason, but the old king and queen did not know why they couldn't have any children. This misfortune always made the king and queen have feelings of self-pity. They pray every day, longing to have a baby to fulfill their desire to be parents. After a long time witnessing the sincerity in each pray, one day the goddess of fate appeared in the king's dream to announce. Knowing your heart and what you two have contributed, I will break the rules and give you two a gift. Not long later, the queen suddenly got pregnant. <laughs> but from that day, the king gradually neglected to pray, and this really disappointed the goddess of fate. Just a few months later, the queen went into labor earlier than expected. The royal physicians could only <laughs> save the life of the little princess. About the queen, she no longer had the strength to hold on to life on earth. And the king, once again, dreamed of the goddess of fate. You got a gift, then you dared lose your faith and neglected my image? Is that your gratitude to your goddess? Even though the queen had to pay with her life, it was still not enough. Remember this, one day not too far away, a dog, a snake, and a crocodile will take the princess's life. After the dream, the king rushed to build a tall tower for his newborn daughter in the middle of a forest which was completely separated from society. Eighteen years have passed. The lovely princess became a beautiful young lady. She became more and more beautiful, but always carried a lonely, melancholy image on her face. She feels more and more lonely in this place. Mm -hmm. Maybe I should find someone reliable and strong enough to protect her in the future. As long as a brave man who is able to overcome difficulties to climb this tower and ensure her safety in the future, he will be eligible to be a consort. It must be like that. Many nobles came here to propose. <clears throat> but none of them were able to reach and free the princess. Huh? <sighs> One day, a handsome prince arrived in this country. So this is the tower where the princess is kept. As a prince, how can I ignore this terrible thing? Let's go, boy! However, the prince, after learning that this place strictly huh? forbids the existence of dogs, had to hide his close friend. The prince then surpassed other opponents with his ability, quickly overcoming the challenge of facing a handsome, talented person who is not afraid of difficulties. Huh? The princess was quickly attracted. <laughs> That's how the princess met the destiny man of her life. Witnessing the prince's ability and strength, the king felt very satisfied. 
he decided to hold a solemn wedding ceremony right at the palace. Right on the wedding night, when our princess returned to her room as she was too tired, a strange snake suddenly appeared at her window with bloodlust eyes. I am your destiny. We finally meet. Right at that moment when the princess's life was hanging by a thousand pounds, a black shadow swiftly passed. It was the companion of the prince. The hunting dog promptly huh? saved the life of our princess just in time. At that moment, the king and prince together stepped in the room due to the princess's huh? screams. Stand still! Huh? Are you okay? Did he hurt you? Honestly, this dog is my best friend. He has been with me, surpassing many difficulties. I intentionally left him outside the castle, but perhaps huh? he smelled the danger and rushed here. I'm sorry. Huh? No, a sorry is not enough. Its appearance threatens my daughter's life. Soldiers, bring these two creatures out and give them instant kill. The prince was unable to let his close friend be killed. He frantically begged. Your majesty, please spare him a life. The princess now regained her composure. She looked at the prince and turned to the king. Father, this dog saved my life anyway. You have also seen it. Can't you spare his life? Instead of taking him to execution, we can let my husband take him home. We won't have to worry anymore. All right, consider it as atonement. Just do as you say, the sooner the better. Yes. Thank you so much. I will never forget this. We will prepare to depart early tomorrow morning. Early the next morning, on the way back to their hometown with the prince, the hunting dog suddenly turned weirdly. It seemed that we can see the evil snake image reappear on the dog somehow. Huh? Hey boy, what's happening? But then the dog suddenly spoke in a human language. Huh? I am the fate of the princess. Huh? There is a certain power from the snake that wants to possess my body. It wants me to become more bloodthirsty than ever. The dog's eyes turned bloodlust, just like the snake's eyes the night before. My prince, you need to return to save the princess immediately. Before it's too late, a monster has arrived. Huh? The young man heard that. He trusted his friend, then immediately turned away and rushed back to the castle. The prince returned to the castle and found the princess sitting next to a large lake playing with the fishes. <laughs> This lake has always been used for ornamental fish only. No other animals were allowed to live here. However, a huge alligator emerged from the water in front of the princess with bloodlust eyes. Before the appearance of the monster, the prince still bravely led his soldiers and rushed to fight to protect his wife. However, the strength of the alligator was too far exceeding that of humans. One huh? by one, each soldier was blown away. <clears throat> when the monster approached our princess with a fierce look, it made her too scared to even think about running away. I am your destiny. Let's finish everything. Thinking nothing of it, she decided to give up everything, accepting her fate. Everyone unconsciously huh? closed their eyes. They didn't want to see the bloodshed that was about to happen. No! No! Suddenly, a black shadow swiftly led to the sound of the crocodile struggling with the dog's growl, which made everyone curious to open their eyes. As it turned out, the dog that the king ordered to be expelled had returned to save the princess again. After the battle ended, the dog heroically defeated the fierce crocodile to save the princess's life. But then he can no longer move anymore. <laughs> the princess could only watch her man screaming in pain. Suddenly, a woman appeared in mid-air. She was the goddess of fate. Princess, her doomed fate has incredibly disappeared. Miraculously, the one who changed your fate was you. 
This hunting dog, as well as the other two beasts, were given power and order to destroy your life. However, because the dog was moved as you begged to save his life, he tried to resist the order of the god and sacrificed his own life to save you one more time. This has absolutely never happened in history, but nothing is impossible. I will give you a small gift as a reward. <laughs> the reward of the goddess was to bring the brave dog back to life. Of course, no more red eyes or fate came to disturb our princess ever again. Wow, fairy tales.